Hey guys, Dr. Mara here with a quick update. Uh, it is March 19th, 2013, and we are on the cusp of the spring equinox, and that is tomorrow. So I am here just to give you a reminder of what you can do to help yourself through this uh, transitional phase with these uh, increases in energies and uh, also to remind you that the mercury retrograde is uh, now passed so if you have any uh, projects that you want to get started now is a good time to do that uh, also with the high energies that are coming in right now if you remember to uh, keep your thought and intent and try to hold it as long as you possibly can it is uh, a definite benefit to you uh, remember that uh, energy streams in very rapidly and it takes uh, a little bit of time for physicality to uh, catch up. Uh, an example of this would be on uh, December 21st, 2012. The energies that were coming in at that time um, were closing the doors to uh, one area of uh, the universe for humanity, for Mother Earth, for, for basically everything. Uh, that's in this dimension, at least it's perceived by us, and also to open new doors. And the streams of energy that were coming through at that time, uh, some of us in higher vibrations were able to witness certain things and have awarenesses, and other people at a lower vibration uh, may not have seen anything for some time until it manifested. Um, we're all on different parts of the uh, of a same spiritual path, basically, and nobody's better or worse than anybody else. Uh, some people are just further down the the line than others. That's all. And uh, I just wanted to remind you that because these energies are coming in tomorrow, don't be uh, disappointed if something doesn't manifest instantaneously. I'm not saying that it won't, because we may have something happen, but Sometimes it takes uh, a day or two, a week, or even over the coming months for things to unfold from what uh, energies came in on uh, the spring equinox day of March 20th, 2013. Uh, things that you can do to prepare yourself and to uh, ease this transition. Uh, one is to rest, pay attention to your body. Uh, if it's telling you to rest, then rest. Um, drink lots of fresh water, uh, fruits and vegetables. Try to stay away from processed foods if you can. Go within, meditate every day, a couple times a day if you possibly can. Very important. Allow these energies to stream through you. Get out of your head, get into your heart. Um, maybe get out into Mother Nature if you possibly can. Take your shoes off and uh, feel the earth under your feet and allow the energies to stream up from Mother Earth because she's being affected by these energies as well. And uh, I think it's important for us all to tap in and uh, send loving energy to all of humanity, to Mother Earth and Father Sky and the universe so that it's an easy transition for all of us and whatever's in the greatest good for all involved. So again, just a quick update and a reminder that this is going to happen tomorrow. And uh, just uh, some reminders of what you could possibly do to ease the transition for yourself and those who are closest to you. And uh, with that, I'm going to sign off. And uh, again, uh, I'm going to send you some love, light, and laughter. And uh, enjoy the ride.